The federal gov increases the power tariff by 18 paise per unit. The federal government on Monday increased power tariff in the country by 18 paise per unit. Pia to bring back Pakistanis stuck in Saudi Arabia. The Pakistan International Airlines Pia has announced its decision to operate commercial flights to Saudi Arabia to bring back Pakistanis stranded in the kingdom. CAA extends travel restrictions on inbound UK flights. The Civil Aviation Authority of Pakistan has extended on Monday the temporary travel restrictions it imposed on the UK flights earlier last week in view of a second novel coronavirus wave amplified by a newly detected Covid strain found hastily transmissible across Britain. Pakistan in contact with six companies to get Covid-19 vaccine, sources. Pakistan is in contact with six international Covid-19 vaccine producing companies. Pakistan records 55 deaths, 1,974 COVID-19 infections. The statistics of the National Command and Operations Center NCOC, has shown that the coronavirus pandemic claims 55 more lives, whereas, 1,974 new infections were reported during the last 24 hours. PM Imran takes notice of gas load shedding in Pakistan. Prime Minister PM Imran Khan has taken notice of the load shedding of gas across the country and has called for a meeting on the ongoing energy crisis. Gold continues its upward journey. Gold prices continued their upward trend as the per tola price of the precious metal on Monday witnessed an increase of 100 rupees to 113,450 rupees in the domestic market. Agra proposes another hike in fuel prices. As per the suggestion of the Oil and Gas Regulatory Authority Agra, the petroleum division is likely to increase the prices of petrol and diesel on 1 January 2021. The price of petrol will be increased by 2 rupees and 76 paise per litre, and the price of diesel will go up by 3 rupees and 12 paise per litre, as per reports. Actor blasts ICC for a team of decade selection. Former fast bowler Shoaib actor has criticized the International Cricket Council ICC, for not including a single Pakistan player in their teams of the decade. Pakistan reports 63 coronavirus-related deaths in past 24 hours. The novel coronavirus has claimed more 63 lives in the past 24 hours, taking the death tally to 9,922. UK coronavirus variant detected in three Karachi passengers. A coronavirus strain 95% similar to UK's new strain has been detected in returning passengers in Karachi, announced the Sindh Health Department on Tuesday. High-level Saudi delegation to visit Pakistan soon, Qureshi. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said on Tuesday a high-level Saudi delegation, including the kingdom's foreign minister, will be visiting Pakistan soon. Pakistan Steel Mills Workers' Union urges PM for its restoration. The Insaf Workers' Union of the Pakistan Steel Mills has urged Prime Minister Imran Khan for the restoration of the state-run enterprise. Two FC men among 14 injured in Baluchistan grenade attack. Two Frontier Corps personnel were among 14 people injured in a grenade attack in Baluchistan's Sorab city, the police said Tuesday. Punjab may extend school closures, Minister. The Punjab government on Tuesday hinted at an extended closure of schools across the province given the inflation in the number of fresh cases of coronavirus. Only a few thousand can perform Hajj in 2021, Minister of Religious Affairs. The Minister for Religious Affairs and Interfaith Harmony Noor Al Haq Qadri has said that just like this year, only a few thousand pilgrims will be able to perform Hajj in 2021. Pakistan Medical Association warns of COVID-19's third wave. Considering the constant violations of SOPs by the public and failure of the government to enforce them during the second wave of COVID-19, Pakistan will experience the third wave of coronavirus outbreak as well, Pakistan Medical Association PMA, has warned. Students protest against HEC decision on associate degrees and MDCAT. A large number of students staged a sit-in outside the Governor House, Karachi, to protest against the new associate degree AD, that has been introduced by the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan HEC.